Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed CSS box model. CSS box model says, imagine every HTML element as a rectangle box which is meant to hold content. Content may be a text, an image, a PDF, a video, etc. Every box includes four important areas. They are content area, padding area, border area and margin area. There is a difference between the content width and actual width of an HTML element. There is a difference between content height and actual height of an HTML element. Actual width of an HTML element can be calculated by using this formula. Content width plus left padding plus right padding plus left border plus right border plus left margin plus right margin. Actual height of an HTML element can be calculated by this equation. Content height plus top padding plus bottom padding plus top border plus bottom border plus top margin plus bottom margin. Actual width of an HTML element is the amount of space occupied by an HTML element horizontally. Actual height of an HTML element is the amount of space occupied by an HTML element vertically friends. If we don't have padding, border and margin, actual width will be equal to content width and actual height will be equal to content height. If we don't have content also, then the actual width will be definitely zero, actual height will be definitely zero. You can see here I have HTML element box here a rectangle box to calculate the actual width what we have to do is we have to add content width plus left padding plus right padding plus left border size right border size plus left margin plus right margin that gives us the actual width of an HTML element how do we calculate the actual height of a HTML element we have to add content height plus top padding plus bottom padding plus top border size plus bottom border size plus top margin plus bottom margin. That gives us the actual height of HTML element that is the amount of space occupied by an HTML element vertically. Let's see the demonstration and get a clear idea how to calculate and align HTML elements properly one with another. Let me go to the notepad. You can see I have already opened the default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad here in the body section. I am going to create a div with an ID of div1. I say close div tag. Then I paste this content file save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that the content got displayed. We know that div is a block level element. It takes the entire width and uh, it's a box. Of course, uh, every HTML element is a box. Below this div, I'm going to create one more div. This is going to be a div with an ID of div2. And I say here closing div. This is also another div. It is not going to have any width and height because we don't have any content. No padding, no margin, nothing. So everything is zero, right friends? Everything is zero for the div2. Okay. Now what I do, I go to the head section. I say here style type equal to text or CSS. Then I say here closing style. I say hash div1. I set the background color background dash color of cyan semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that for the div1 we have set the background color clearly you can see it's a box then i say here hash div2 opening floor bracket closing floor bracket i'm going to copy this background color code and paste here i say the background color for this should be magenta file save as we know that div2 has no content, right? It has nothing inside. So everything is set to zero. There is no width. There is no height. 
So we don't see any background color set there. File, save, go to browser and refresh for the div2, nothing is there. Okay, no problem. Let's proceed and uh, uh, understand more. Now what I do here, I set the width of this div1 to 200px. Same width I set to div2 also. Width of 200px semicolon. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the div2 width is 200 pixel and uh, automatically you can also observe the content move down. For the div2, nothing is visible here. You can see that there is nothing visible because we don't have any content. Width is 200 but the height is still 0. Okay, no problem. Here I set the height now. Height to 200px, the same height I am going to set to div2 also. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Now you can be able to see div1 as well as div2 but you can see that the div1 height is 200 a content is moving outside it's getting overflowed let me increase the height what i do here is i say div1 220 div2 220 file save go to browser and refresh that is perfect now right both the div1 and div2 are having same width and same height right both of them are having the same width and same height width is 200 height is 220 here comes the alignment of div1 and div2 in various ways what i do now to the div1 i'm going to add padding i say padding of 10 px i'm adding 10 pixel padding we know that padding clears the area around the content right file save go to browser and refresh now you can observe that there is a space added between the border and the content left side we have 10 pixel top we have 10 pixel right side we have 10 pixel bottom we have 10 pixel space that is actually padding added and also you can observe there is a difference between the width of div1 and div2 the width of div1 is more than div2 because div2 we don't have any padding to the div1 we added padding left padding we have 10 pixel right padding we have 10 pixel so how do we calculate the actual width of the div1 so that we can set the width of div2 also same that is we can take help of the formula the formula says content width plus left padding plus right padding anyhow we don't have border and margin this complete part is zero right content width is 200 plus left padding is 10, right padding is 10, so total width is going to be 220, right? Here, I go to the div2, I say here 220. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that now again they have the same width, but height is definitely different. How do I prove that? What I do actually is I convert the divs from block level to inline by using the CSS float property. What I do here to the div1, I say float left semicolon. To the div2 also, I say float left semicolon. The float property converts the block level element to inline and it places them one beside another actually. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see both div1 and div2 are one beside another. Width is same for both div1 and div2, but height you can observe there is a difference. How do I calculate the height now? Because I want to set the div2 also same as the div1. To do that, I have to use the formula. Actual height of an HTML element is going to be content height plus top padding plus bottom padding. Of course, we don't have border, we don't have margin, this part is going to be zero. Let's see the actual height of the div1 is going to be the content height is 220 top padding is 10 bottom padding is 10 so 220 plus top padding 10 plus bottom padding 10 equal to 240 what i do now i go to the div 2 i change here height to 240 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that now both of them having the same height that's good now, I hope you guys are understanding clearly how we can calculate the actual width of an HTML element, actual height of an HTML element and align the elements properly or uh, layout the elements properly, right? 
we can apply the value to float to none if i say none here in both the places n o n e none both div1 and div2 are going to be block level again file save go to browser and refresh the display one below another now we have set the same width and same height good next what i do i add border i say here border of 10 pixel solid border and it is going to be red color for the cyan element here file save go to browser and refresh you can see i have added a border of 10 pixel border is going to be outside the padding we know that 10 pixel on the left 10 pixel on the top 10 pixel on the right 10 pixel on the bottom okay now you can observe again there's a change in a width div1 width is more div2 width is less how do we calculate the actual width of the div1 so that we can set the width to the div2 which looks same as the div1 again we have to use the formula that is content width plus left padding plus right padding plus left border plus right border this is going to be zero because we don't have any margin let's calculate okay we know that 200 pixels plus left padding 10 pixel plus right padding 10 pixel plus left border 10 pixel plus right border 10 pixel equal to 240 now what i do i go to the div2 for this the width is going to be 240 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that div2 also has the same size they are looking proper now right but there will be a difference in the height again to prove that what we have to do i am going to change the float to left semicolon here also i say float left file save go to browser and refresh now they are one beside another you can observe the height of the div1 is more than the div2 the reason is we have border added how do we calculate the actual height of the div1 we have to use the formula content height plus top padding plus bottom padding plus top border plus bottom border anyhow we don't have margin so this part is going to be zero you can see here the div1 content height is 220 pixels so 220 plus top padding 10 plus bottom padding 10 plus top border 10 plus bottom border 10 equal to 260 is the actual height of the div1 so here i say 260 file save go to browser and refresh you can see that both of them are having the same height and same width both element are having the same size let me go and change this float to none i talk about the float in detail in the next video tutorial okay don't worry at present you understand that float is just we are using to convert the block level elements to inline elements so that they can be placed one beside another okay now file save go to browser and refresh again they are block level elements again the div1 and div2 are in block level so they are one below another this time i add margin what i do i go to the div1 i say here margin margin of 10 pixel semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can observe that the margin is added on the left and top 10 10 pixel right side and bottom also we have 10 pixel you can carefully observe that as we have added margin the margin has cleared the area around the border of 10 pixel and margin will be transparent anyhow as well as the padding will be transparent friends i have to align this div2 also little bit right side i have to move it right what i can do is simply i can add margin so i say here margin margin of 10 pixel semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the margin i have added now they are aligned properly if you want to calculate the actual width of this div1 use this formula right if you want to calculate the actual height use this formula let me minimize it okay we have aligned properly no problem but also we can observe i go here and change the float property value to left float property value to left file save go to browser and refresh vertically also they are aligned properly that is nice right i hope you guys are understanding how we can use uh, actual width and actual height formulas 
टू ले आउट एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स और प्लेस एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स प्रॉपरली अलाइन एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स प्रॉपरली अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर रिक्वायरमेंट बिकॉज वेन वी स्टार्ट डिजाइनिंग वेब पेजेस वेन वी स्टार्ट एडिंग बॉर्डर पैडिंग मार्जिन द कंटेंट्स आर गोइंग टू मूव हियर एंड देयर वी कैन बी एबल टू एडजस्ट दम प्रॉपरली टू एडजस्ट और टू डिजाइन वेब पेज विच इज मोर फ्लेक्सीबल मोर इजीली एडिटेबल मोर मैनेजेबल देन डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द कैलकुलेटिंग एक्चुअल विड्थ एंड हाइट ऑफ एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू गाइज हैव क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड सी एस एस बॉक्स मॉडल एंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एक्चुअल विड्थ एंड एक्चुअल हाइट ऑफ एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट एंड ले आउट वेब पेज एलिमेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर रिक्वायरमेंट I discuss about CSS float property. How do we float HTML element? Why we float HTML element? What the CSS float property does in detail in the upcoming video tutorials. For this tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest you people to practice and uh, try writing yourself some code like this. For this tutorial, this much is enough. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial